Hey everybody, this is Captain Mike with the Charter Boat Annie Girl. It's been a little while since I've had a chance to bring you a fishing report. Uh, thank goodness we've been really busy and fishing every day. But I um, just want to touch base with you on a few things. Uh, I took today off. The weather's pretty bad. Uh, I'm headed over to uh, New Orleans. There's a meeting tomorrow to discuss some issues on Red Snapper. As you know, we only had a 28-day season this year, shortest season ever, and uh, you know we all know there's plenty of snapper out there. It looks like there's some changes coming. Uh, finally, uh, one of the first changes that that uh, looks like it's going to come to pass. There was a a updated stock assessment done on the red snapper this year and they are going to um, release five million more pounds of red snapper. Uh, it's called the total allowable catch or the TAC. The TAC is going to be raised uh, another five million pounds for this year. So one of the things in this meeting is uh, they're going to take public comment on when we want the snapper season open. Um, so I'm going over there to that meeting and you know we're gonna I don't know what I'm gonna vote for yet because I don't know exactly what all the options are but um, the sooner the better as far as I'm concerned so I'll let you know on that um, it's been a great year uh, you know, one more thing on the red snapper if you got to go this year I, I'm sure you can see they're just plentiful as ever and uh, a lot of big snapper. I mean, 10, 15 pound snappers are almost average now. Uh, it's just unbelievable. So that's the good news. We have a very healthy stock. Another thing on red snapper uh, that may be coming is uh, regional management. Right now, all the red snapper are managed in the federal waters, uh, and federal waters are out to uh, 200 miles. But uh, all the federal waters are managed by the federal government and they, they manage the snapper as a whole in the Gulf and we we believe we need regional management. Texas has different issues with their snapper than Florida does and, and, and vice versa and all the states uh, have different issues and different snapper populations. For instance, Alabama has the largest artificial reef program in the world, second to Japan. We may even be ahead of them now. So we probably have more red snapper off the coast of Alabama than anywhere. So, you know, there's a good possibility that maybe we can catch more snapper here. And uh, down on the uh, west coast of Florida, down around Tampa, they don't have very many. So maybe they need to ease the uh, or tighten up the restrictions on snapper there. So anyway, that's what one thing that's coming along that I've always been a proponent of, and everybody said it would never happen, but now it looks like it may happen. Um, you know, I always use the analogy: they don't, you, you can't. The federal government doesn't manage deer and doves and quail and turkeys and everything all across the whole southeast every state having the same because it's different everywhere and the water is no different so that's coming um, uh, offshore fishing's been good we've been catching a lot of tuna uh, a lot of big marlin caught last weekend in the uh, wharf tournament the state record was broken twice uh, the state record was somewhere around 780 pounds and a, uh, a boat brought in one like 790, broke the state record, and about an hour later, another bro boat brought in an 845-pounder, broke it again. The third place fish was 722 pounds. For whatever reason, uh, all these big fish moved in, and there was a bunch of boats out fishing, and they got caught. So it was an unbelievable weekend this weekend. This past weekend for offshore fishing. Um, so, all in all, fishing's good. Uh, you know, July right now we've got trigger fish, amberjack, 
and red snapper all closed at the same time. And that is very unfortunate. And that's another thing that we're going to address. Those are our three most popular species, and uh, we don't we don't want to end up in the same situation again where we have all three of those closed at the same time. So we're working on that as well. Um, there's going to have to be seasons on fish from now on out, uh, bag limits and everything, because we've got to manage these fisheries to make them more sustainable. But the federal government's done a terrible job, in my opinion, and most people's opinion. And, it, and one thing is because they're too far removed from what's actually going on. So maybe we can get state management, regional management, something uh, where we can keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on and make adjustments in a timely manner one way or the other either to raise bag limits or or lower them for the benefit of the fish so we have a fisher for the future all right well, that's about it for now uh, just want to touch base with you and I appreciate your business and if you would like to go fishing we'd love for you to give us a call so in the meantime, this is Captain Mike saying, "Some ca come catch you some on the Annie Girl." My dog's back there somewhere. Tell him bye, Alvin.